It's now almost a month after BP's Deepwater Horizon exploded, killing 11 people and sinking to the seabed. For the last month, this oil has been hemorrhaging 60 miles offshore and a mile deep on the ocean floor. And it is impacting this fragile Mississippi Delta. There appears to be floating globules of oil just around us here, so it's a pretty clear indication that we've got a fair amount of oil just being washed up here. But we'll go ashore and take a look. This is an area where there are reeds growing right down to the banks of the Mississippi, and the oil has pushed itself in amongst all the reeds and it stayed trapped here. It, this, is, this is a death trap for birds that will come and attempt to breed here, that will attempt to feed and, and nest here. Well, you know, we're working at the fringes of knowledge here. No one really knows what impact this is going to have. It's the first time that thousands of chemicals of dispersants have been added subsea surface and you know that it has spread in such a wide direction at deep water so i would say that a massive experiment is being undertaken in the gulf of mexico the results of which we have no idea but we do know it's going to have a long term impact the politics are long and deep here Greenpeace has been arguing that we should end oil exploration, not only for these impacts, but also for the global impact of climate change. The oil industry is encouraged by governments to expand into the frontiers. And when you're pushing the frontiers, like the deep oceans, like the Arctic, like the tar sands in Northern Canada, you're going to have accidents. The message is clear to the government an end to oil exploration, an end to deep water oil drilling, so that the industry is sent a clear message that the age of oil is over. We are moving into an age of renewable, clean energy supplies.